Here it is, Tengara. Which puts us right about here. My first choice is still Port Banoa. It's a busy commercial harbor. No one would expect us to land there. That's the advantage. The disadvantage is it's a busy commercial harbor. We're offloading three dozen armed gorillas. Nobody's gonna think we're there to pick papayas. That leaves the Bay of Serpents. And with the Bay of Serpents, we could have problems with the tide. In the water, sharks. On the shore, snakes. Snakes? I didn't get his name for nothing. Beyond the shore, jungle. Heavy jungle. I don't know. They're also hazardous. War is hazardous. Then what do we choose? The Bay of Serpents. Yes, of course. Only a fool would expect an assault on the island's most treacherous spot. Or a tactical genius. And since Tengara doesn't have one of those... Good. There's one more thing you're forgetting, Colonel Sang. Okay, let's go, Colonel. I'll stay aboard the ship until the beach is secure. But what's to secure? We land, we hack our way through the jungle, storm the palace, and grab General Bosavi. But if anything happens to me, the cause is lost. Besides, there are snakes. Yeah, but you are... But it's safe. Send back one of the inflatables to bring me ashore. Until then, long live Tengara. Get the gas. Terrific. A boatload of drunks on a lagoon full of sharks fighting for an asshole who's afraid of snakes. What's it mean, soft walk in the park in the French? Uh, that's American for. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yes. 
nothing better than a work for you! The tube. He's an enemy of the state. Shoot him. Nah, Colonel Seng was the enemy of the state. This guy's just a flunking. Maybe we could use him. How? Hire him. Look, Colonel Cota, somebody just tried to toss your government. Maybe Seng was acting alone, maybe he wasn't, but this is the man who could tell us. What makes you think he will? These guys are all alike, money talks. Then when we don't need him, then we shoot him. How much would this guy cost him? Four thousand ought to do it. All right, but not a cent more. So, name? Lee, Robert E., Chief of Staff, Confederate States of America, retired. Answer the man, cheese face. French, Sam H. First Battalion, 7th Brigade, 101st Air Cav. Most recently with Colonel Seng, sir, in an unsuccessful assault on the Bay of Serpents. Please, sir, don't shoot me, please. I'll tell you everything I can. See what I mean? He's a sniveling coward. I'll speak to the general. You miserable skunk humper. Invading my island, for Christ's sakes? Your island? What the hell are you doing here? I heard you were dead. Do I look dead? No, but you don't smell too good. Jesus, Jake, what happened to you? One minute you say you're gonna be in Miami. I was in Miami. Where the hell were you if you'd stay put for five minutes? Get your grubby hands above the sheets. I'm checking to see if I'm okay. There's nothing wrong with you, physically. Wait till I grab me one of these sisters of Macy. I'll let you know. Frenchy, I didn't save you from those sharks. Is you with the bazooka? That's one. Two, I hauled your ass out of that bay. Three, I even got you a job. Oh, shit. What's it pay? Two thousand. My ass. It's more like four with you skimming half of it. I save your life, and all you do is whine about the pennies. Four thousand, Jake. Twenty-five hundred. You're stealing me blind. What's the scam? You spill your guts about this Colonel Seng thing, then we do whatever General Bosavi comes up with. You're working for Bosavi? I mean, he's commander of internal security. <laughs> Forget it. I don't want to work for that psycho. Come on, Frenchy, all these pricks are alike, you know that. This one's even better. He loves my ass. Okay, brick brain. That's how you feel about it. 3,000, Jake. 2,500. 
much time do you have to kill to get this place? Reggie, this guy can go a little south, so you want to keep your gun there. It's got the wise ass. Hey, I got an itch. Suffer. Stand in attention, mister. Outstanding job, Jake. See the scar, Mr. French? A sergeant in my army tried to assassinate me last month. Left me this memento. Your little invasion is the fourth attempt on my life in two years. And I must tell you, it's getting a little tiring. Would it help if I promised not to try it again? <laughs> Who paid you? General, if you leave this interrogation... Shut up, Jake! Who paid you? Colonel Singh. Not Akantar. Akantar? Who's Akantar? You don't know. No. I never heard of him. <clears throat> if you're trying to jog my memory, I'm telling you, I never heard of the guy! I believe you. An honest man. And if there's one thing that I respect, it's an honest man. Shoot him. Look, uh, General, this jerk obviously isn't telling us everything he knows. Let me have him. I'll make him talk. Then we can shoot him. Why don't you shoot him, Jake? That's not a problem for you, is it? Take him downstairs. No. Shoot him here. Now. All right. Well, bird brain. Adios. Okay, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Just a minute. Maybe. Maybe I wasn't being completely honest with you before. Hold on, right there. Move and I will blow his brains out. Go ahead. What? Go ahead. I think you've just been fired. Shoot them both. Shoot them! Give me that gun! You're gonna shoot me! Well, you took long enough. We didn't prove the radio man. He had one eyebrow. What are you talking about? No, I don't remember Bill Pomeroy. What the hell are you asking me that for? Sure you do. He's the guy that was cornered by the Lima police on top of the train station. There was this truck full of ducks parked under him, so he jumped off the roof and he landed right on the truck. He got away? No, he was killed. Ha, ha, ha! 
brain doofus, you just blew the best gig I ever had. I'm working banker's hours, and you come along with a little piss-hand invasion and blow it all to hell. Hey, I'm sorry, okay? You know, that's my problem with you, Frenchie. You do something really bozo, and then you always say you're sorry. Well, I'm sorry. How long are you going to hold a grudge? This is no grudge, Bubblehead. It just happened. Next week, it'll be a grudge. By the way, where are we going? I got a plan. Oh, shit. Fly a piper? Oh, yeah, probably. What kind of that? Private Clang. What are we gonna do next? What do you mean, what are we gonna do next? Well, we got enough fuel for either Jakarta or Singapore. I know a couple of girls in Singapore, we could bury the soldier and then maybe get us a job. You know, that's my problem with you, Frenchie. You're presumptuous. What are we gonna do next? Are we going here? Are we going there? I mean, geez, I got a life of my own, you know? You always do that. It's unacceptable. Go. Have you been listening to me? Well, of course I've been listening to you. Who the hell else do you think is in here? Now, call it. Hey, hey. Heads, moose nuts. It's tail. Yeah, yeah, well, they, they used to live there. They never lived there. Yeah, they lived, they lived there five years ago. Your nose with a handkerchief. Yeah. Well, you should have seen the tall one, man. She had a mole on her thigh that used to throb. Stop it! You're killing me. And a stupid son of a bitch tries to go up the middle three straight times. It's like running your head into a brick wall. I mean, am I crazy or is there a difference between perseverance and just plain stupidity? Anyway, sorry about that. Martin Spruce, CIA. You guys want a drumstick? It's five in the morning, Jack. What the hell do you want? Well, actually, I'm pretty impressed to have you guys here. You're kind of like the grand old men of this business, aren't you? Guys, it's done a lot of work over the years. Rangers, Lerps. Mercenary work in Angola, Haiti, Chad. Guys have done a lot. Some of it was actually legal. Look, Sprue, that really is your name. You're just gonna sit there and blow smoke up our ass? You're gonna get down to business. All right, I'm glad you used that word. Let's get down to business. The company has a job for you two. Drop dead. We don't work for the company anymore, not since Afghanistan, and I'll tell you why. You can always count on the CIA. I'll always let you down. Look, I know about Afghanistan. I know you lost some locals. 48 men. And you blame us? No, we blame us, because we worked for some jerks. But I wasn't there. Yeah? Well, I'm not here. Just a minute, Mr. French. You say you don't work for the CIA, huh? Tell me, who do you think was behind that little rebellion at the Bay of Serpents? Why don't we take a walk? Look, I know how you guys feel about the company, but I'm telling you this one's different. What's the job, Sprue? Osavi. We want him out. Why? Well, other than the obvious fact that the guy's a raving maniac, he's starting to deal with some very unsavory characters. In fact, he's starting work on a chemical weapons plant northeast of Tengara City. Joint project with some terrorist groups. He's really into a lot of dirty shit, guys, and we want him out. Who do you want in? 
Akintar? Oh, there's that guy again. Who the hell is he, anyway? Akintar was president. Vasavi kicked him out. Now Akintar's up in the hills with maybe 50 guys. So forget it, Sprue. The guy's got no weapons, no guns, nothing. Got the support of the people. Oh, fine. Good luck. Listen, not that you guys should give a shit, but this one happens to be very important to me. For once, we are on the side of the good guys here. There is a real cause. There is finally something to believe in. Let me tell you something, Sprue. We believe in the Deutsche Mark, the Swiss franc, the Krugerrand, the yen. Once in a while, we believe in a good old American buck. But as for causes, there's something you die for. Consequently, not very high on our list of things to do. Guys, who's talking about dying? Look, you find Akintar, you tell him I sent you. You radio whatever supplies you need, and when you're ready, you hit Basavi. You are missing the point. We go back to Tangara, and we are dead. Capiche? See you around, Sprue. Well, I'm afraid you left me no choice but to tell you. You have no choice. You guys have done a lot of illegal shit over the years, and there's some people at Langley, Virginia, who are very pissed off about it. You could do 20, 30 years easy. Is that a threat? Just business, Jake. So what's they're gonna be? Langley or Leavenworth? What's it pay? A quarter of a million dollars each. We'll think about it. Do this, you're just gonna hang around all day. <laughs> First, the fuckers blackmail you, then they drop you in the middle of the goddamn trees. Will you shut up for a change? I don't like this any better than you do, but the last thing I want to do is stand around and hear you bitch about it all day. Yeah, yeah, okay. <clears throat> so, where the hell are we? We're here. Cut through the jungle, north to south, and we head for the hills. Sound like we're in the middle of fucking Manhattan. Frenchy, I lived here, remember? I know this country like the back of my hand. Another one of those bing bongs? That makes three in the last hour, plus a candy bar and a box of jelly beans. Hey, this is a great survival food. It won't rot in the jungle, and wild animals won't touch it. That's a fact. Has it occurred to you that maybe they know something you don't? What now, hairy hands? The hills. The hills? The rebels, they hide in hills. These hills? Yes, darling. Don't worry about it. We'll build a big fire. They'll find us. Try it. 
Yeah, go on, eat it. It's great survival food. Hey, it won't rot in the jungle and animals. Will you just come can't... on? Man, we got a four alarm blaze going already. See this? They're blind. Hit me. Blackjack. Oh, shit. <laughs> $2,716.93. Cool it. They're here. Left drive behind us. Lovely. Want to hit? Yeah. Again. Again. Don't move. A dozen guns are on you. Four, actually, but who's counting? On your feet. Oh, good evening, gentlemen. May the gods of sun and rain smile upon your rice paddies. Wobbler? Nobody told you fellas these bird shooters are no good for this kind of work? What we have will kill you once, Mr. Wire. Now, that's enough. You can't do it. What are you doing here, huh? Well, we're here to help your ass, Honcho. You bullshit. Ask Akintar. Ask him about Martin Spru. Uh, boy, don't believe. You want to make a break for it? Only if we can agree on which direction. Where's Akintar? What do you want? Our government sent us here to lead your people in a rebellion against Wasabi. For money, no doubt. Professionals get paid, ma'am. You're responsible for the deaths of many of my people. You worked for Wasabi. Security, not army. You change colors too easily, Mr. Wire. I'm afraid I can't let you live. Sento. Ikat mereka. Okay, what do you want? I'm not worried. Are you worried? Well, I can try take care of this and probably just stepped out for a beer or something. Don't worry. I'm not worried. Now, I'm starting to worry. Looks like it's going to be a nice day. They have knives. Bebas
What do you think? Akantar? It's either Akantar or the Lone Ranger. I don't see Tonto. I'm Alcantar. It was a foolish move for the CIA to send you, Mr. Wire. I tried to tell him that. Is there nothing you won't do for a price? Oh, there's got to be something. You claim you're here to help us. Give me one good reason why I should trust you. You just said it. What? I'm here. My niece tells me your name is Sam French. What's your story, Mr. French? The sad version of the happy one. Whichever you feel may best prevent me from having you shot. Oh, well, then definitely the sad one. First off, I grew up in Buffalo, New York. And that's the tearjerker right there, huh? It's the armpit of the world. As soon as I left, I bumped into old Jake here. He'd been kicked in the head by a mule when he was a kid, so I promised his Aunt Clara that I'd look after him, and ever since then... Mr. French! I fucked you, okay? We are here to help you! If your antenna is so rusty you can't tell we're on the level, then I don't want to help you. You're too fucking dangerous. So make up your mind. Either shoot us or let us get some sleep because I am beat. Sulita, find these men some food and a place to sleep. I have no illusions about who you are or why you're here. But if you can help me, then I accept that help. I presume you and uh, Mr. Sprue have some ideas. I got a few plans. The sooner the better. Hey? Uh, listen, about last night, I would forget about it. No hard feelings. Thank you. I don't know how safe it is being in this village. This valley is a natural fortress. We have sentries in the hills. We're very well protected here. From the ground, maybe. From the air. One gunship, this place is dust. Fortunately, Vasavi has no helicopters. Yeah, well, things change. Mr. Wire, I'm sure you're quite the expert on military matters. Arkansas must have had very good reason for doing what he did. Personally, though, I'd have had you shot. No hard feelings. Lovely. Frenchy, for a piece of ass, you'd start World War III. Here's the palace. Got six guys through the sewer to the powerhouse. I cut the power on the fence. Frenchy, you need what, 20 guys? It should do it. Great. Vehicles. Very impressive. All right, let's start with the basics. Wait, it's gone. Hand to hand. Anybody know any Aikido? Jiu-Jitsu. Judo. Karate. Okay, somebody come up here and try to hit me. Japa Brani. Okay, somebody else. French platoon. First thing we gotta do is I gotta know who you are. And when I say, step forward and state your name, loud and clear. Sebut nama masing-masing. Soang-soang. Soldier. Sir Rizal bin Syed Yaakob. Terima kasih habis Syed Abdul Muttalib. Kuah Ahmad bin Kusamad. Alam Kasimah Jaya bin Ngah Mandar. Ahmad Suradi bin Hamzah. Jit. Never mind. All right. You're shifty. You're flash. You're thunder. You're lightning. And you're slap. <laughs> Come on, people! Can somebody get over that wall in less than a day for me? Go, oh, Jimmy! Keep that head down! Keep that head down, Jimmy! Head down, Jimmy! You're gonna break your neck, buddy! Don't do that. Flash! Slash! 
<laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> you made this yourself, huh? Yeah. Okay, let's see if you can hit anything with it. Hey, don't go in. Let go of it. Then you let it. Sneak up on a guy if you scream at him like that. Okay, next! Next, you soldier. I can't do this. Oh, come on, doll. It's your war. You want an omelet? Break an egg. You can joke about it because you have no heart. Look, while we're fighting for our freedom here, you fight only for gold. Our battles are won by devotion. Yeah, well, devotion's great, but it don't stop the tank. If I pull this now, who would miss you? Well, you would. Because without me, you don't stand a chance in hell, and you know it. You missed the point. What do you think? I think if we got ten guys who can learn to find their ass with both hands, we're lucky. Two from the top of the deck this time. Somebody's got to. Absolutely. Well, it's a pain in the ass the way it is. Positively. Heads, brick brain. How do I look? Knock, knock. Just thought I'd stop by and check and see how our little trooper was doing. Pretty rough out there today, huh? Yeah. I bet every muscle in that body of yours is crying out right about now. Pretty sore, huh? Oh. Yeah, right about oh. there, huh? Oh. How's that feel? Nice. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Funny thing, War. One day you're here, and the next day, boom, you're history. <laughs> After a while, you just learn to live each day to its fullest. Appreciating your friendships, giving yourselves to each other, rejoicing in each other's being, each other's body. Mr. French, there are men in this village who are better at rubbing backs than you and probably better lovers. Now, I haven't gone to bed with them, so why should I want to go to bed with you? But I wasn't... Yes, you were. No, but I thought... No, you guessed wrong. Now, why don't you go back to your camp and do whatever it is you do when you're alone? Five card stud. Speaking of which, how'd it go? She's got a mind of her own. Not my type. Yeah, all right. 20 pounds of C4 plastic explosives, one dozen M16s, six AK-47s, 
four M203 grenade launchers and ammo. Coordinates for the drop bar as follows. Zulu, Yankee, Uniform, Whiskey, Mike, Papa. Got it? Roger. You guys sound like you're having a hell of a party. Just bring the guns, Sprue. Out. What the hell is that? It's the alarm. Every month, two months, to all the villages. Okay, Jimmy. Come on, come on! Come on! Sorry. Okay. Pick him up. Landing zone blown away. This is ridiculous. Two hours. Two hours late. Now this wind. I don't like this. They always fuck it up. What if they don't show up? What if Langley changed his mind? What if all we're ever going to see are two dozen raggedy ass rice farmers with rusty rifles? We stick around? Are you kidding? I want to make sure we're in sync is all. Look! There it is! Spur, you blessed turkey, is that you? Yep, and we see you just fine, so look out, here comes Christmas! Let's get these people out of here. Clear it back! Give me this, give me this, give me
at your fucking boots with your pants! Sorry, even Langley can't control the wind. Everything all right? Oh, everything's A-OK. -okay. OK, from now on, no, no communication. So if there's anything else you need, peanut butter, condoms... Piss off, Sprue. Get out. No, no, tell me what I should tell her. Okay, what's her name? Farah. Farah? Just hold on real tight, okay? Farah, pegang benda tu. That's right. Pegang benda tu kuat-kuat, jangan lepaskan. I just tell her I'm gonna take it from her. Biar dia ambil benda tu, Farah. But don't let go, okay? Tapi jangan lepaskan. Okay, sweetie, just hold on real tight. Just hold on, sweetie pie. And don't let go. I'm gonna take it right here. Any luck? Well, I'm looking for old Moss back, but I don't think these worms are going to get him. <laughs> it's all so peaceful now. Yep. Get it while you can. Four days we go. You'll win. How do you know? Because we've nothing to lose. I want to apologize. For what? For not trusting you. No big deal. Yeah. But I was wrong. Whether it was your intention or not. What you're doing here is good. First time for everything. See that? That's what you're supposed to be doing on a night like this. What am I doing? I'm sitting here eating rice with a goat. You know what I need? A steak about a foot thick. A bottle of good red wine. Mm. Gorgeous gal sitting on my lap. Not wearing any panties, <laughs> because I asked her not to. Mm. Mm. You know. Go on, go on, get out of here. Oh, Jesus, this is it. This is it, Frenchie. Low water mark your whole miserable low water life. Remember it, don't forget it. When you're back in the world, low because some chick you're with is a nine instead of a ten. Just remember the night you were sitting in the middle of a fucking jungle with a goat coming onto you and for a minute, just a few seconds there. Actually, I had to think about it. One, two, three, let's go! One, two, and here's the firing button, okay? Now, take your C4, put your detonator in here, flick it on. <laughs>
feel positive this was the man. And he and the other man were going north into the hills? You told no one else. You're certain. Good. Good. You've been very helpful. Model citizen. Call Washington. this tradition. A nice feast before going off into battle. I feel I should be coming with you. Well, that's a noble thought, but what would happen to these people if you died? They need you. A lot more than we need an extra gun. I suppose. You know, Mr. French, we often thought about death. I try not to. In our religion, death marks the passage of the soul into the world of spirits, a place where life truly exists. The real world. Well, if that's the real world, then what's this? A place of dreams, shadow world. I don't mean to be rude, but if that's the way you think, then what's the sense of fighting? <laughs> Why should we suffer in this world while waiting for the next? <laughs> in other words, Mr. French, if you're waiting for a table at a fine restaurant, it's nice to be comfortable at the bar. You know, if we're successful tomorrow, we could make a place for you here. You'll be the Prime Minister's niece, and we go to all the tea soirees, and then I shake hands with all the fat cats. Right? There's a lot of work to do here, Jake. There are people to feed, there are children to teach. There's a future here, there's a life. Yeah, that wouldn't work for me, and you know it. I know nothing of the kind. What we make of our lives is a matter of choice. All right. After the morning, I'll come with me. Where? I don't know where. Where the hell it leads, just come with me. I, I can't leave this. Oh. It's all right. See, in this place, you've got a future. Me. Tomorrow's always been a little shaky at best, so... <laughs> it doesn't have to be that way. We wouldn't have had this chance if you hadn't come here. But you set things up and you leave. You don't have to leave. Green, sir. Ah, thank you very much. Mm. Mr. Sprue, Liz Powell. Liz Powell? Sorry to interrupt your lunch. Oh, no, that's all right. That's uh, no problem at all. I was just finished, in fact. Can I get you something? No, thanks. I ate on the plane. So, did you just arrive in Singapore? Ten minutes ago. I'll be leaving again in half an hour. Everybody thinks this job is so glamorous. May I take your order? Just coffee, please. Black. Thank you. You understand I'm here at the President's request. He got a call from General Basabi last night. What exactly have you got going down there in Tangara? What do you mean? Whatever it is, Basabi's found out about it. He wants us to call it off. Now, in return, he's made us a very attractive offer, a complete alliance with the United States. Now, I don't have to tell you how long we've been wanting an ally down there. So whatever you got going, scrub it. I can't. You can't? What do you mean, you can't? The strike is in a matter of hours. And it's a prime stipulation that there's no radio contact until after the coup. I can't even reach them. You know they're a mo, don't you? When and where the attack will be? Yeah. Make it real simple. One way or another, you have 
to be stopped. What do you think? Walk in the park. <laughs> hey, Pops. What's the problem? What's the problem? Tali minyak putus. Kita tenang nanti saya baiki sekarang. What do you say? It's a fuel line. It's happened before. Go fix it. Platoon. Check your webbing. No loose gear. You can't be heroes with your belt around your ankles. <laughs> Shut up. There's nothing wrong with that fuel line. Shit, we got trouble.
bawa tanpa bawa ke sana. She says Bosavi's men took Akintar away. So that's that. What's it all add up to, Frenchy? What's what all add up to? 48 men in Afghanistan. Hey, we made a deal. We're gonna forget about Afghanistan. No, another 23, 71 men. One woman. We didn't kill him, Jake. Yeah. They're still dead. They knew. They took the chance. Yeah, she was right. We're responsible. Bullshit. You can't teach a man to sidestep a bullet. Choppers, Brew. Bosavi found out about the attack. He called the White House, made a deal with the president. He promised to be a good boy if we backed off. They made a deal, guys. They took it out of my hands. Goodbye, Sprue. I brought you something. Just leave it right there. It's a million. It's double our deal. Contingency funds in the project. Is that Bosavi's chopper? Yeah. We're recognizing his regime tomorrow. He's gonna give a big speech about the new alliance. What about Akantar? He's gonna parade him in front of the people tomorrow? And then kill him, right? Come on, guys, come with me, huh? Look. I got passports, I got airline tickets. See you around, Sprue. You got what you wanted, didn't you? Huh? You said it yourself, it was a money gig from the start. Get out of here, Sprue! Guys, they took it out of my hands. It was just, it was politics. It was lousy, shitty... <laughs> Wilson and Mr. Smith. Hey, these aren't tickets, these are passes. Hell, we can go anywhere we want. That's a Rome. Are we 
can sit on the piazza in the lawn and watch the chicks go by. <laughs> what do you say? Yeah, sure. Well, let's split. You know, Frenchie, they got a word in this part of the world, a muck. Like running a muck? Yeah, something like that. Regular guy, average guy, 35 or 40, goes berserk, grabs a knife, stabs everybody he sees till they stop him and put him away. They say he hasn't watched himself, you know, he hasn't taken a look, he hasn't observed. Down in Java, they call it... What are you talking about? I can't do it. You can't do what? I'm staying. Are you nuts? Sprue just greased our way out of here. I can't do it. I'm not going. <sighs> Shit, Mom, that man's got religion. Listen, we can do it, Sam. We can still get him. I know the palace, I know the defense. Hell, man, I set it up. We can bring this fat cat down. Then afterwards, we take the money, we go to Rome, we live it up. What do you say? We've got the money. We can already live it up. Jake, I liked her too, but she's dead. Uh, it's not just about her. Well, Sami's got Akintar. He's dead too. At least he will be by supper time tomorrow. It's over, Jake. The job is over. There's nothing left worth fighting for. Oh, bullshit. Look around. Remember this place when we first came here? Take a look at it now, goddammit. And what about us, huh? Are we worth it? I don't know what the hell you're talking about, man. You didn't even want to come here in the first place. I was wrong. It is not religion. It's the onset of senility. Oh, God damn it! I just don't want to go out this way again. Oh, yeah? Well, I don't want to go out at all. Well, you get the hell out of here then, Frenchie. You get the hell out of here. You go to Rome, send me a postcard. I would, but I don't have the address of your graveyard. God damn, miserable skunk and son of a bitch! You know you don't have a chance without me. Okay, asshole, I'll flip you for it. Call it. No. This is the way we've done it for 20 years, Jake. Don't fuck with me. You win, we go after Bosavi. I win, we go to Rome. Now call it. Heads. You win. Will you? Don't let them talk. Maybe they got a plan. I told you the plan. Two plans. Yeah. Plan A for awful and plan B for bad. Even worse than plan A. You know, I should have never, ever, ever killed those sharks. Hey! Viens la l'orientation! Love, Dwan! Morata! Morata! I got 502. Check. I go through the sewer. You lay the charge. I cut the power on the fence. You hop over. In the morning, the ceremony begins. I create the diversion. All right. I blow the gate. And I grab Akintar. We split. I hope you don't run into any trouble. What trouble? I know this place like the back of my hand. Oh, shit. Hey, how will I know when you've cut the current to the fence? I need 10 minutes. Then I'll give you 12. 5.15. Go for it. Is there any way I can check the current? Lick your finger and touch the sucker.
Damn.
by my side now, I would have had to destroy all the villages in the central province. Terrible waste. Citizens of Tungara, we're gathered here today to celebrate the finest day in our nation's history. A day on which our nation transcends itself to reaching greater heights of glory. Change your evening. Come back. Change it. It is, it is to commemorate this day that, that I now present, present to you, you our noble, our noble leader, leader, our beloved, Kasdan Bosavi. Fellow citizens, honored guests, on this, on this day, day, it is my hallowed honor, honor and my and solemn, solemn duty, duty to resign my leadership of Tengara and to step down from power forever. Oh, because I have been one of the worst presidents of all time, and one of the great assholes in the history of the universe. Therefore, I relinquish my leadership of Tangara to those who deserve it most, the people themselves. It's them! <laughs> Ow. 
Where were you? In the closet. <sighs> your plan? A full frontal assault is your plan? It's got the element of surprise. Oh. Suicide is always surprise. Well, we can't very well attack it from the rear. Can we, Frog Face? I get a point. Oh, ow. Damn, you're chipped in two. They're full of on three. One, two, Jake. Now what? This is the last time I'm ever going to listen to you, I swear. Okay, okay. Next time you got a plan, I'll be happy to do yours. You promise? You want a variety? You got a pencil? I'll try to.
Champagne? See, all the three drinks, but you're alone. There's a mistake, yeah? No, just put them down. Nice day, huh? Here's to you, fellas. Sorry you couldn't make it. Ciao, bello! Screw you, rummy. You couldn't even wait for us. What do you mean? I did wait. Quarter to three, you said. Here it is, 4.30. I got a plane to catch. What kept you? Well, let's see. One of them is tall and blind. And ah, the other... bullshit. He got his crutch caught in the elevator. Here, Havana. Don't tell your boss. Well, anyway, just stopped by on my way to Munich to say hello and to give you this. What is it? You'll see. Well, listen, fellas, it's time. Forget it, Screw. You're in our will. My dear friends, when you left, I vowed that no one should ever forget the two brave Americans who led us in our battle, nor our dear Sulita, who died for our cause. I send you the enclosed to show you how that vow has been kept. This time, I'm calling the shots. Call it. Ed's shark bait. 